Yo, Power Rangers Dino Fury has a brand new music composer. Let's talk about it. What's going on everyone? It's your boy D Braz, Dan Brazen in the building. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I have some news for you, and like we said in the intro, Power Rangers has a new music composer, and you know me, I'm a musician, I have hella songs, go check out our, our page, our music tab, bunch of different music, go check that out. But when I heard that they were going to have a new music composer, I'm sitting here like, really? So we've kind of had the same dude from like Samurai on make the music. You know, it's been a good almost 10 years this guy's been making music. So we've been used to it. It's It's been decent. It hasn't been amazing, but some songs better than others. Um, I did like some of the, the music in the show. But you know, the fans always complain that they always go back to Mighty Morphin and Go Go Power Rangers. And at the same time, it's like that's what hits. That's what gets kids going. That's what kind of helps sell toys. Um, it's kind of a perfect advertisement. Like you play with the toys, Go Go Power Ranger. You know, it's it's real. So our new composer's name is Bert Selene, Selen, something like that is S-E-L-E-N. Uh, this is awesome. He's 35 years old, so a little bit of a younger guy compared to some of the previous music composers. And this guy does have a resume. He is not just some rando that's been playing guitar his whole life or playing piano. This guy, he moved to the States at like, what, 17 or 19 or something from Australia? No, from the Netherlands, I believe. The Netherlands. And he worked for Disney Channel on a bunch of shows. Check out this. He worked. He did the music for Fast Lane, Raven's Home, Casey Undercover, and Lab Rats. So he's got himself a nice little Disney contract, or at least had one. And then his music was featured in Parks and Rec, NCIS, Gossip Girl, huge show my wife used to watch that back in the day. And his music was featured on the American Music Awards. So how cool is that he also ended up winning a bunch of awards too. Dude's got a nice resume and that's what you're looking for. You see Hasbro isn't just going for the random guy no more. They're going with people with some actual stats. That's great. Like quit starting my, my 2K player off at a 70. Let me get a speed boost real quick. You know what I'm saying? Or like with Legacy Wars, let me get a bonus. Like let me get a... a powerful character real quick to, to compete, man, because that's what you need. I like it. Now, we're not for sure if we're going to get music that's original, 100%. Um, in the past few shows, they'll give you like three or four original little soundtrack sounds, you know, in the background, and then they kind of play off of the Mighty Morphin sounds. Now, you know, there's always a bulk and skull, da -da 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 -da. You know, something like that. And then you will always have a do, 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 do. Always have one of those. I want to see them get a little bit more crazy. And since they did like an EDM style song for the opener, you should give us more EDM style beats. That would be dope. Like imagine like some, um, some fight scenes and it's like, like, I could just see some crazy stuff. Give us some hip-hop. Give us some EDM. That's what the kids like these days, man. Rock is awesome. I'll always have a very soft spot, uh, soft spot in my heart for rock music, okay? But rock isn't the party music. It's not the, the in thing no more. And why do I say party is because that's kind of like the in thing. Like rock and roll for like 40 years was like the party music, meaning that everyone listened to it. They they went out, they 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 had birthday parties playing the music. They they had beer parties, football parties playing that music, college parties, man. Um so I wanted them to keep switching it up. I remember everyone hated on the Power Rangers Mystic Force theme song, and now it seems like one of the most classic favorite theme songs of Power Rangers. 
Go look that up if you never heard that one. It's got like some outcast influence. It's got that tur er, like that 2006 like like it's dope. I love that. That's my favorite. One of my favorites. It's up there. I really like SPD too. The Power Rangers have had some awesome theme songs in the past, but when they got it back in the Neo Saban era, they just kind of wanted to grab on the heartstrings of nostalgia, and that's why you get the Go Go Power Rangers like every single theme song, half of it is Mighty Morphin because they know that will sell. It pulls on nostalgia strings for adults and little kids. It's still catchy to them. So it is what it is. I would love to see songs from Power Rangers just be completely original, but it is what it is, man. They're trying to do best of both worlds, and that's how you have a successful product these days. You take a little bit of old, a little bit of new, and create something different. What do you guys think about our new music composer? Are you excited? Do you think it's going to be the same things? Are you are you expecting to see something different? Let me know in the comments. We love you guys. And thanks for watching the fan club. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Hit that subscription button. And also hit that notification bell to stay in the algorithm. Do you guys support the fan club? You want to help us make our next episode and keep this show running? Well, check out our brand new fan club t-shirts. These are on our Square site. Go check that out. Go check us out on all social media platforms. And thank you for rocking with us, guys.